Good morning, Castaic. My name is Torin Rikers. And I'm Xander Grable. And welcome to our very first episode of Good Morning Castaic. On today's show, we will show you how the AP Environmental Science class has gone green. A club on campus focused on mental health. And a spotlight on clubs and which clubs you would like to see. Get ready, because Good Morning Castaic starts right now. Welcome back, Coyotes. As we mentioned, this is our very first episode. But Torrent, what exactly is Good Morning Castaic? Well, Xander, Good Morning Castaic, or GMC, is our student-produced news and variety program. Over the next few years, you'll see our show grow from a bi-weekly pre-taped show to a daily live show broadcast from our state-of-the-art facilities. We're excited to see how we can change and grow over these next several years, and we're excited that you can be a part of it. So, let's get started. In our very first segment, AP Environmental Science has been working on going green all semester and their work has really paid off. GMC's Andy Rubio has the story. No, don't open up a new bag. AP Environmental Science is the only science AP here at Castaic High School. One of the projects they are executing is the plant project. The plant project, um, we have actually two projects going on. One of them is a plant project in which students raise plants and then um, they nurture it, take care of it, um, are responsible for it, they keep a journal, they collect data, and then at the end of the year, at our holiday boutique, they are to sell it as a fundraiser for APES so that APES gets funding for the following semester. They're going to be very beautiful, and the fact that um, everyone likes plants. They give us oxygen, and they're green, and students are going to want them. I've actually had other biology students who are not in AP environmental science actually buy plants of their own and keep mm -hmm. it and take care of it because of all the plants in this room. Yeah, the reason I want to be an apes, um, because in biology, we always see like the uh, the plants and we're like, oh, what's that for? And she's like, oh, those are my ape students. They're taking care of plants and then they go and sell them later on. And that's pretty cool. And so that's why I want to be an ape. It's like the main reason because I think that'd be pretty cool. There's some other people in my class who like, oh, apes could be really fun because they do a lot of experiments and they just play with plants. The plant project helps our AP environmental science program in a multitude of different ways, to a fundraiser, to inspiring students to keep their own plants. I'm Andy Rubio reporting for Castaic High School. Thank you so much, Andy. It looks like our AP environmental students really have a green thumb. Yes, it does. Now, mental health is something that many students may take for granted. With the recent events at Saugus High School, now more than ever, it is important for students to focus on their well-being. GMC's Jamie Lee Hyde talked to Mrs. Kennedy to bring you a story on the Bring Change to Mind Club. Ms. Kennedy is the advisor for the student-run club Bring Change to Mind, a club focused on erasing the stigma and discrimination surrounding mental health. My vision for the club is really letting the students decide what they think people need on campus because they are the ones experiencing these situations. So um, that would be the number one priority. And then also um, our vision is just to have a lot of events going on related to wellness on campus so that teenagers can expand their strategies for coping with stress, with anxiety, with depression. And that we can also eventually open up a wellness center where students can access those resources resources um, on their own or if they're referred by peers to the center and they can have a discussion with somebody in there that meets their needs and is centered around their own individual um, struggles. Groups, you are each going to have a... She talks about how the stigma surrounding mental health affects people. The stigma surrounding mental health, I think, affects people in a lot of ways, but um, the primary one is that people feel really embarrassed to talk about um, feeling feelings like anxiety, like depression, and um, when they don't talk about it, it almost makes it worse because people think that it's just them or it's really uncommon, and that's actually not the case. A lot of teens and adults struggle with those things. Hopefully, Bring Change to Mind will do a lot of good for our campus. 
For Good Morning Castaic, I'm Jamie Lee Hyde. Thank you, Jamie Lee, for spotlighting that very important club. If you'd like to see more information, stop by Mrs. Kennedy's room in 518. Speaking of clubs, what clubs would you like here at Castaic? GMC's Henry Swindell takes a look. Castaic High School has many activities to offer. The one we're going to look at today is clubs. We've asked some students what clubs they think we should have in school. Maybe a club, like a STEM club, or probably maybe like a game room, maybe? In my opinion, I think maybe a Taekwondo or in more of a broader sense a martial arts club. I think we should have a key club, maybe Defy and SAV, Project Linus, clubs like those. Those that give back to the community. That's some of their ideas for clubs, but today we're going to look at how to start a club. I interviewed Xander Grable, Vice President of Castaic High School, who is also in charge of supervising clubs. So, paperwork that you have to fill out to start a club, we have these forms in the student store, and you need to have five uh, members, you need to have a teacher that you can use the room for to have clubs, you need to record minutes, and you need a constitution, and the ASB members vote on it. Can I get a second? Um, Grace? When your club is approved by the ASB, you and your club members will have to elect a president, a vice president, a secretary, and a treasurer. And there you have it. That's how you start a club. This has been Henry Swindell reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Oh, two, four, six, eight, ten? Eight or ten? Nine, I, I'm pretty sure. Nine. Nine. Twelve. Eleven? Nine. Gotham. Gotham. Gotham! Gotham. 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 Arkham. Oh, Gotham! Oh. Vincent Van Gogh! Leonardo da Vinci? Leonardo da Vinci. Some really old guy. Oh, I got this. Leonardo DiCaprio. Seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. I don't know. Two! Sixty-three? I have no clue. I think thirteen. Seven... Seventy-three? I don't know. May 5th? Uh, Cinco de Mayo. May 5th? May 5th. 6th. May 5th. John Adams. Huh? John Adams. 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 Adam. George Washington. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Hawaii. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Obviously Rhode Island. This year, more than ever, it is so important for us to establish a positive tone for Castaic High School. If we work together, we can avoid any forms of bullying. Every year, far too many high school students consider suicide. In 2017, suicide claimed the lives of 5,016 young males and 1,225 young females, also according to LA Times. Teen suicide rates have decreased, but are now at a shockingly high rate of 17%, according to childtrends.org. Bullied students are more likely to fall into depression and two to nine times more likely to commit suicide. In the U.S., one in five students are bullied. That's about a little over 60 students just at our new school alone. So what can we do? Don't be a bystander. If you or somebody you know is being affected by bullying, tell someone. Do something. Bullying is common, but we together can change that. Remember, if you're the only one laughing, it's not a joke. That's right, Xander. And with that, our first episode comes to a close. Be sure to tune in next semester for more stories and fun segments. Make sure to head on over to our Twitter page, at GMCastAig, to see replays of our shows and fun segments. See you next semester, Coyotes. Have a great holiday break.